All day today, we've been saying, we don't want to talk about problems. We don't want to talk about your problems. We don't want to add fuel to those fires. And so now you are asking about something. How can I improve this? Right. And a friend earlier was talking about the meditation CD mm -hmm. where through breathing and listening to music and the music is a bit odd. It's different than what you expect. So it causes you to have to focus in a way that distracts you from your normal thoughts because you have to focus differently in order to stay in sync with the rhythm of that music. And then we are offering precise words once you get in sync with that rhythm and you are on that high flying disc and you are if you've been following it just a little bit then the affirmations or the words that have been carefully selected will help you to get that momentum going and so this is what we're talking about here we're talking about finding something that gets the momentum going now if you're acknowledging a handful of general things I want to feel good in my life and I want to feel accomplished and I love the feeling of momentum and I like the feeling of accomplishment I like the feeling of success I like the feeling of getting things done I like the feeling of empowerment I like the feeling of self-empowerment I like the feeling of free flowing I like the feeling of being in the flow I like the feeling of moving with the laws of the universe I like the feeling of me getting to choose I like making choices that feel good. I like how I came to understand which choices do feel good. I love my guidance system. I love knowing that I'm eternal being. I love knowing that the larger part of me is spinning in this very good feeling, high flying vortex. I like knowing that all of that is available to me. I like knowing that I get to make choices. I like making choices. I like making all choices. I like making the good feeling choices and I like making the not so good feeling choices because that helps me to define what the good feeling choices are. I really like being a creator here in this physical environment. I like finding things that interest me. I like playing them out to find out how interesting they can be. I like withdrawing my attention from things that don't feel good. I like not increasing my interest on things Things that don't feel good and I like increasing my interest or my momentum on things that do feel good I like the world that is around me I like getting to observe others I like observing people in their high flying emotions and then they're not such high flying emotions I like watching law of attraction responding to all of us I like knowing how it works I like the stability of this environment I like knowing that I'm the creator of my own reality I like deliberately applying my thoughts I like feeling the momentum of a thought I like staying focused upon something and feeling it moving faster and I like withdrawing my attention from it and feeling it slowing down. I like discovering the actual law-based tenets of momentum. I like withdrawing my intention and feeling it peter out. I like thinking about things that I used to think about a long time ago that I rarely think about anymore. I like realizing that there are many problems that I used to have in the past that I've left way behind just by lack of attention to them. I like recognizing that there are some problems that I keep active in my environment because I keep them actively focused. I keep choosing discs that they're on. I love being a deliberate creator. Creator. This was a very general, very positive conversation that we did not dip off that high flying disc at all, even though we were talking about people all over the place, even though we were talking about vibrations all over the place. We did not dip from that momentum of that high flying deliberate creation. I'm empowered and I'm the creator of my own reality, not for one moment during that rampage that we just offered. That's the way that you close the gap. That's the way that you keep the momentum going. You don't try to stop negative momentum, you get positive momentum going until the positive. Positive momentum just takes over everything that you are the positive momentum begins who, to be who you are and so the thoughts that occur to you because of the positive momentum you wake up in the morning and the positive momentum from yesterday just sweeps you right there and it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing because they don't bring you down from that positive momentum after a while because you've practiced it you've got the momentum of it going so much don't you know people who are stable no matter what that it takes really a lot to take them off of their stability well, that's who you mean to be, you see. That's who you are. And your inner being is always there. That's who your inner being is for you. Your inner being never leaves that high flying disc. And your inner being never takes its attention off of you. Your inner being never stops focusing upon all that you've become and all that you want. And that vibration is so powerful. That is the power of influence. And you have to practice yourself long and hard into those lower discs before that's not what's carrying you, you see. So it doesn't take very much of getting hold of this intellectually and just not talking about that anymore and not talking about that anymore and not talking about that anymore and not talking about that anymore until you've practiced not talking about those things that were holding you on those lower discs and that's like letting go of the cork. Then you float right up to the surface.
You see, as we've been talking about this emotional scale, and let's say you're in depression, that's a real exaggeration. And if you're in depression or discouragement or grief or fear, then a little anger or frustration is moving in the right direction, isn't it? And so sometimes the inspiration that you're feeling is moving you up the emotional scale. But we want to talk about what inspiration really is. Inspiration is momentum. Think about that. So you're really going to like this. So let's say that you want something and like our friend before, you haven't been exactly practicing the pure vibration of that. So you're not owning that yet. That's not the chronic vibration within you. So on the subject of your desire, your disc is usually about here. And what is the emotional word that you'd give to that? Well, the more you think about the thoughts that make you feel that way, rather than just getting off the subject altogether, the more you give attention to it and that's where it is, the more you give attention to it and that's where it is, the more you give attention to it and that's where it is, the more momentum picks up until you feel compelled to act. So the question isn't, did I get inspiration? Yeah, you did. The question is from which disc did the inspiration come? That's a new insight that you have not understood before. It's sort of like a friend was talking in the hot seat the other day about his behavior in traffic and how the more he focused, the more the momentum goes until he's shouting at people he doesn't even know in traffic and feeling inspired to do so. <laughs> so the inspiration is just the momentum you see where we know that you think that inspiration is always coming from source and we say, in essence it is because it's pulling you upward 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 in other words there isn't anything like getting momentum going on what you don't want there isn't anything better in the fact of getting momentum going on something you don't want than that it shoots off rockets of desires which gets more momentum going about what you do want so there's this momentum in the vibration of what you really want and there's this momentum of where you are and whatever vibration you're focused upon is what momentum is being called from you. Did that make sense? It's a little jumbled. We'll say it again. Whatever you are giving your attention to is where the current active vibration is within you. And the longer you hold your attention upon that, the more momentum will be there. That's why we say get out ahead of it. That's why we want you to go to bed at night and to think about tomorrow being a really good day. It's why we want you to wake up in the morning and focus upon what a nice day it is with the effort being to keep that momentum going. And then we want you to be aware of what disc you might dip to so that if you do take a dip that you catch it in the early subtle stages within 17 seconds so that you don't let that momentum get going. But for most of you, you haven't been aware of these emotional grid discs and you haven't been aware of the momentum that you may have going. Don't you have those experiences where there's something that's just stuck in your vibrational craw? It's like an issue that you've got going on and you find yourself thinking about it quite often and speaking about it quite often and others around you speaking about it quite often and it's because that's where you reside a good deal of the time. Well, it does not have to be that way. You could start doing a better job of choosing higher vibrational discs early in the day and you could train yourself over a period of about 30 days into mostly being right there. And we want to say to you, whatever it is you've got going on, that's who's jumping on with you. In other words, you're moving through life. You've chosen for this moment in time what grid disc you're on, what spinning point of attraction you're on. And as you're moving through the world, those around you in your vicinity who match where you are are jumping on with you. Those are the waiters you're meeting. Those are the people that check you into hotels that you're meeting. Those are the people that are giving your airline reservations. Those are the strangers and friends. Those are the thoughts from families and lovers. Those are the ideas out of your own mind that are jumping on. In other words, what's jumping on always matches what you've chosen. 
So to talk about what to do after you've chosen it and after you've got the momentum going is kind of like the long, slow, hard way of going about it. A much faster way of going about it is pick a disc. And if I find myself on a lower disc, take a nap. And when I wake up, pick a disc. And if I find myself on a lower disc, take a nap. And when I wake up, pick a disc. And if I find myself on a lower disc, take a nap or meditate or do anything that I can to help me pick a disc, pick a disc. This is what getting out ahead of it is. Pick the disc first, give it everything you've got, watch what law of attraction yields to you. And then you might very well find yourself in another step one moment where you're launching another rocket desire, where you're creating another vortex version of what you want. So all day long, this is what we want you to think about. What disc have I chosen? What disc have I chosen? And what momentum is ensuing? So in knowing what you don't want, you send this rocket about what you do want. And so that's a momentum. It's a momentum that you keep contributing and then source rides that rocket and gives attention to it. And so the momentum of what you are wanting is really building. It's built to a very high, fast moving momentum in your vortex, a momentum that often you are not up to speed with at all. And so when you pick up the subject and we've been describing every, every subject is two subjects, what is wanted and lack of what's wanted. So there's a vortex version of it that is spinning very fast. And then there's a grid version of it, which is your perspective that could be spinning very fast. And sometimes you want it, but you want it, but you want it, but you want it, but so the momentum seem like they're almost equal in terms of your airtime, but in terms of the real momentum, they're not equal because the vortex version is much, 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 much faster. In other words, when you want it, but want it, but want it, but in terms of your ability to give your attention to it, that might be equal because you're really going to like this. And we're just going to back up and say this again. You're really going to like this. So do you acknowledge that you've built a vortex version? Oh yeah. And that it's been coming over time. Yes. And you acknowledge that your source is focused upon what you want and that that's spinning really high, that that's a well-being that is tremendous. And that when you allow it to manifest, it will be a big deal. Absolutely. That's step one and step two. Now we're talking about step three, which is your choosing of the discs. So I know what I don't want. I know what I do want seems equal, but it isn't because you've been doing it and doing it and doing it. And the momentum of your vortex is really, really powerful and fast. Let's call it the well-being of the universe, just to punctuate it in the way that we really want you to hear it. It's huge. And when you stop doing that thing, you do. Then you'll move right into that. In other words, when you stop holding your cork under the water, it will flow right into vibrational alignment with all that that's in your vortex. You're following us so far. We've been talking about that for a while, but now we're talking about these grid discs. We're talking about your point of attraction. We're talking about your airtime. We're talking about step three. We're not talking about step one anymore. You set that into motion. We're not talking about step two anymore. You've set that into motion. In other words, that is a done deal. This thing that you want or these things that you want are already vibrationally achieved. So now we're talking about your point of attraction and in your point of attraction right here, right now, you might be giving some airtime to wanted, some to unwanted, some to wanted, some to unwanted, some to wanted, some to unwanted. We're just talking about your attention to the subject. Some to wanted, some to unwanted, some to wanted, some to unwanted, some to wanted, some to unwanted. Your vortex exists apart from that. Your vortex has already accomplished everything that you're asking for. All of the cooperative components have already been gathered. We're not talking about step one and step two anymore. That's already a done deal. We're talking about what you're doing. This disc, this disc, this disc, this disc, this disc. Isn't it pretty obvious that if you choose this disc, that that stuff will flow into your experience and you will realize it.